Hey guys, this is Chris at AMA Power Sports. Back to you again. Yay! What I'm working on now is our first logo. Okay, so what I did was I printed a blank version here. This one right here in the middle. All right, that's what the sign's gonna look like. Now we have different color schemes for all the different sites and stuff we've been posting. If you look here at our different schemes here, I'm actually gonna use this one on the back of our uniforms in a glow in the dark paint, which is gonna be pretty fun. I'm either going to do this midnight one here or this chrome one that we call it for this sign. Okay, so what I did was I took it, I made this plain version, and I took it to uh, Microsoft, the old school paint. The cool thing about the, the paint uh, program is when you go to print, you can do page select under the printer or page setup, and you can choose how many tiles, so you don't have to go to Office Depot or, or Staples to get it blown up. You can basically do it right off your printer. And what it does is, it, the way you'll see it is it'll say pages, it'll say blank pages of blank pages. <laughs> and what it's asking you is how many pages, by how many pages, do you want to blow it up? Like I did three by three. So it's one, two, three by one, two, three. All right? And that blows it up to this size. The reason why I blew it up to this size is because this is the size I want to make the first sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this together which actually I do have one I gave a shot at. Here's one taped together. Give me an idea of what I'm talking about. Once I have it all together, I'll proceed to cutting it out. Once I cut it out, I'll have my template and then I'll take my template and apply it to my MDF to start to make the actual sign. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and get it ready for the MDF and then I'll pick back up on the video. Okay, I got all the pieces cut out, and as you can see, I left the white edges on there so I can tape them together. You can see that there. Uh, so I might time lapse that video, and you can just see me put this whole little puzzle together. <laughs> all right. Okay, so now I've taken the paper and laid it on top of plastic card. Uh, you can order this online in whatever different thickness you need. I like to get mine that's thick enough to block paint but thin enough to flex. So I also like to have templates that I can use, you know, years from now if I have to. Is why I always convert the paper over to plexi card. So uh, plastic card. So later on I can use it when I need it to make it again. All right, be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out.